what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a quiz web application using ASP.NET with the use of SQL Server database in Visual Studio before doing the project directly let's understand the basic concept so let's talk about the general quiz application in general quiz application users select their answer from the listed option generally there are four options and click the send button to submit their answer to the server in the case of online or to the local database in the case of offline and then they click the check button to check their answer so being a developer we have to imagine what logic in the program can accomplish can accomplish such operation so our concept is when the user select any answer and click the submit button their answer need to be stored in some database table and return some value when the user click on check button so for this we are going to create one database in sql server and inside that database we are going to create three table one table is for storing the correct answer the next one is for storing the user submitted answer and the third one is for storing correct or incorrect by comparing the user submitted answer with the correct answer so let's do it First of all, open the Visual Studio, go to File, click on New, click on Project, and then select the Visual C sub, and then select Web, and then click ASP.NET Web Application and give the name of the project Quiz Apps, and then click OK, and then select Empty, and then click OK. Now right click over project click on add and then click on web form and then click you can either give the name of your web form or leave it and then click ok now inside uh, this uh, div we are going to drag and drop first of all go to design and then Go to toolbox and what we need is uh, we need a label for displaying the question and then four radio button for uh, the four option and then two button for one is for submitting the answer and another one is for checking the answer so drag and drop label over here and then radio button If you drag and drop uh, in this manner, the waveform will not uh, appear as good. So, to overcome this problem, what we are going to do is we are going to insert the table first of all. So, go back to the source code uh, before writing the code. Let me change the appearance of this Visual Studio so that you can watch the video more easily there you go now insert this div i am going to insert one table table along is equal to center and inside this table we are going to insert some table row this row is for displaying the question and here another table row and in this row we are going to display the four option and another table row and in this table row we are going to display the two button so here go to toolbox and then click on label there you go and then change the text of the label the question you are going to display so i am going to display what is the height of mount ebe rest this one is in meter not in feet so here we are going to display the option 
so for this drag and drop delete your button and then press the break now again two three and then finally four and then place the break uh, now uh, inside here we are going to drag and drop two button there you go now change the button id to btn submit and here goes btn check submit it's always good uh, good practice to give the id and uh, so that you can remember which id contain the which section of code here is only two uh, id uh, sorry here is only two button uh, in this case you can differentiate which section of code is uh, inside the which button but if uh, in the future project if you have more than 20 button you cannot uh, distinguish which code is associated with the which button so it's good practice to give the id of each button and here uh, let me run this code first and now we have to give the value of each text box so go back to and then here text is equal to at it for it text is equal to nine eight for it here goes text is equal to ten eight for it and text is equal to eleven eight for it and then run this again there you go this is uh, the basic uh, waveform now if you click uh, any radio button all radio button is selected so uh, in order to remove this that is when i click this uh, uh, radio button this radio button uh, need to be uh, checked and if i click this one this radio button need to be unchecked so for this what you need to do is we need to give the group name group name is equal to quiz and then simply copy copy this paste over here all radio button have this uh, need to have the same group name and say comment now if you click this button this button uh, will be uh, checked and if you click this button this button button is unchecked and this button is checked so we finished the part of designing our ui now we need to create the database in SQL Server. So go to SQL, open up your uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, right click over database, click on new database, and then quiz application, and then click OK. Now expand it. And again, 
uh, right click over table and then click on table and we are going to uh, design the table here goes id and then id should be int integer And then here goes ans column bar care and then id should be primary key and auto incremented so for this then go down the property and then expand this and then here click s and just click control plus s and give the table name give table name is answer and then click ok now again right click table here goes id and here goes int here goes s is submitted answer that means pr care and id should be auto implemented same process expand this identity specification and then click on s and then click control plus s this one is h b m i t t d a n s w r video insert table and then again right click here goes id here goes integer here goes value value pair care in this table we are going to uh, store either correct or incorrect control s this one is the compared sorry uh, uh, let me click this id and id should be auto incremented and then control s and then table name is compare compatible and then click ok now we have to store the correct answer in our answer table so right click over answer table and then click on edit top 20 rows and give the correct answer correct answer is 8848 and just call this it will automatically saved if you want to uh, see again click on right click and then click on edit top 20 rows there you can see id is 1 and the answer is 8848 so just uh, we just complete the part of uh, creating the database and go back to again visual studio and then go to design and then double click the submit button and you will uh, go to the .cs file and here we are going to use the database so for this uh, we need to use the namespace system.data.sql client then using system dot data and uh, inside this class we are going to declare on variable a string submit your answer now go to the form and double click each radio button and submit your answer is equal to edit for it Again, submit your answer is equal to 9848. And then, submit your answer is equal to 10848. Submit your answer is equal to 11848. Now, we just initialize the uh, our variable value and when the uh, user click this button the submitted answer will be added for it and 9 for it and in this manner now double click the submit button and uh, we are going to write the code over here first of all you need to connect this application with the database so for this go to SQL server and then right click add connection and change the data source to SQL server 
okay and type the name of your serv server this is the name of my server or you can uh, also click this drop down button and uh, you will see your server name and quiz application click okay we need to connect our this application with the database so for this sql connection con is equal to new sql connection and here choose the connection string so again click this server explorer click your connection and from the property from here just copy this connection string and then paste over here and we are going to insert the user answer to the database so for this sql command this one is insert query Simple new sql command and here goes the sql command instead of writing the sql command just go to your database right click over submit answer and then scripted it insert into clicker now simply copy this and paste over here place at the root sign so that uh, you can write this query in multiple lines insert into this one values and the value is what is our value our value is submitted answer and here goes connection Oops. and then we need to open the connection connection dot open and then insert query dot execute non query we need to execute our query and we need to close this connection account dot close and we need to display the message to the user so response dot write I'm going to use the JavaScript SCRIPT and here I'm going to display the alert box your answer is submitted successfully and run this again in firefox as you will know guys uh, you need to install the iis in your system in order to run the asp.net project in the web browser if you don't know i'm going to show you go to control panel and then go to program and features click on turn windows feature on or off and click this internet information services and then click ok i already done it so here click any button and then click on submit the message will display your answer is submitted successfully and go back to your sql server and right click over here click on edit top 20 rules there you can see the value is submitted so uh, uh, that's it in this part one i will see you in the second part guys